I'm with Mike Supple of SuppleWine.com. Check it out. And today we're talking about reading labels and we're dealing with champagne. All right. It's always important to deal with champagne. Champagne is a very important beverage. If you're not a fan of it, you haven't had good enough stuff yet. So get out there, buy a good one, drink it because it's a random day of the week. Don't drink it because you're going on a date. Don't drink it because it's a Friday. Drink it because you want to drink champagne. This stuff is good. I can't stress that enough. Right. And if you had champagne and you didn't like it or it gave you a headache, it just means you weren't drinking the good stuff. Try the good stuff. Yeah. Now, a key is make sure it says champagne on it. Now, there are some great bubbles out there that aren't from champagne, but if you are if you don't like champagne yet and don't like bubbly wine, try a really good one. Make sure it says champagne. That, except with a few exceptions in the United States, some people that have been doing it for a long time or grandfathered in, it has to be from the Champagne region of France. That's actually a region in north of France. It's east of Paris. It's really cold. It's one of the northernmost regions for winemaking in the world. And they've been doing it for a long time. They really know what they're doing. <laughs> this house in particular. So, talking about labels. It says Champagne on it. That means that it is from the region of Champagne. It says the name of the producer, Krug. K-R-U-G, pronounced Krug. Okay, they are a fantastic producer. It's a rather expensive bottle. This isn't your everyday drinker, but this is your, it's Tuesday night, and I really don't want to face work tomorrow. I want to blow some cash. This is an outstanding bottle of wine. One thing you don't see on here that you might be used to seeing on a bunch of labels, there's no year on there. Champagne is quite often what they call non-vintage. Um, wines don't have to be from a certain year. They can blend them, but most table wines, most regular wines that you drink, have a specific year on them. It's very common. A lot of champagne houses are really famous and known for their non-vintage blends. Krug in particular, they call this a multi-vintage because what they do is they pride themselves on having older wines. They store them in, in the, the underground caves and they blend good years together and make this really nice style. They call it multi-vintage. And it is. It's a blend of several different specific years. Uh, so again, that's why you don't see a year on there. What else we see on the label? Underneath the word Krug, you see this the village that it's from says Reims, R-E-I-M-S, pronounced kind of like Rince, but with an M. It's the name of the little region within France where Krug is. Rome? Rome? <laughs> <laughs> and you see Grand Cru, or, sorry, you see the word Brut next. That refers to the style of Champagne. There are different styles. There's uh, Brut, there's Extra Brut, there's Sec, there's Extra Sec. It refers to the sweetness level. It has to do with the sugar that they add. If you want more info on Champagne, we'll have more talks about that later. But that, they always list the style of the Champagne on the label. And then Grand Cuvée at the bottom, that's just what Krug calls this blend. Again, it's multi-vintage champagne. They do have how much alcohol is on there, 12%. They have the size of the bottle, 750 milliliters. They also have a tiny little code, you probably can't see it on here, but there's a tiny little code at the bottom of every champagne bottle, two letters followed by a string of numbers. That tells you what kind of producer it is. It tells you if it's the person that owns the vineyard made that wine. It tells you if it's a larger corporation that bought them from several vineyards and all that. Something that you don't... Most people, you don't really need to know, but they do have that on every label. That's uh, We'll get back to it. But it's important once you really start getting into champagne, give me a buzz. We'll get together. We'll drink a lot of great bubbly. <laughs> if somebody offers this to you, just say yes. Yeah, don't turn that one down.